back to West Farm and Bees. Today is June 14th. I got myself a handy cart because the ground is pretty wet. We've had some pretty good thunderstorms roll through the area. Um, but today what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and check our hives and see how they're doing. It's been several weeks for obvious reasons. So um, getting in here, just doing a complete hive check on all of them, seeing where each of them are, and then that'll let us know uh, what we need to do with the nukes. So that's going to be the plan today. Just kind of get in and do a quick check to make sure queens are right, laying where they're supposed to be, and things are going well. All right, so we're going to start here with the 10 frame battalions. And we're going to see how that new queen was doing. All right, so what do we expect to find today? We expect to find a laying queen in the bottom box. Here's open. Oh, forgot my frame holder. So we have one, two, three, four, five new frames on this box. All right, we're drawing out comb nicely on this new frame. A little bit of nectar in there, but there's not much in it. It's a pretty light white frame. Oh, but that's funny. The next frame over barely has anything on it at all. I need to make a checklist, I think, of things to bring every time. So like I said, we want to find evidence of a laying queen. Do we need to see the queen? No. Not this time, but I would like to at least see <gasps> brood. Look at that. That is a full frame of brood. Oh, good job, mama. Wow, both sides of that frame look gorgeous. Yeah. Another beautiful frame of brood. What's a drone comb in the middle? That's kind of funny. Yeah, larvae all the way to the edge. Really tiny eggs. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Bingo. Oh, well, there's our there's our queen. Right here. And unfortunately I cannot mark her because I brought the wrong color pen. Again, another reason I should make a checklist, but her beautiful queen here. She's darker than the other queen was. Who knows what kind she is now. Um, I mean they're kind of Italian but they're kind of darker than an Italian bee. Uh, we'll just call this our tin frame for now. Oh, there's larvae on this side. All right, good. So she's still got room to lay. You know, I'm glad it's warm. Not a fan of cold weather. But sure makes the propolis really sticky. So that first frame I pulled out here didn't have much on it at all. And she needs some room to lay. So we're going to put that next to the brood nest. And then we'll put these two empty frames on the outside. I'm going to keep this on top so they have a little ventilation through the top, but it's not an upper entrance. And it's not going to be much ventilation. It's just a little bit of a gap for when I put the upper cover on. When I put the outer cover telescoping lid on, it's going to mostly close up that hole. So this is an entrance just like that. Our 10 frame split is bearding a little bit. Um, that means they're hot, absolutely. But you notice this the one doesn't have an awning on it. Our 10 frame was not bearding and they have an awning. So I wonder if that helps out a little bit. It also might help that they have a lot more room in there too. Whoa, big population. All right, that tells me that they're probably going to need another box on top. Now, yes, this is going to be the hive that goes to the Bee Lively apiary, but we still want to make sure they've got plenty of room, that they don't get too hot, they don't get uh, overcrowded, and leave. So I have some boxes to put on top just to give them some space, and then when Bee Lively comes to pick them up, we can move them into a 10-frame box and then move the box. Yeah, look at that. They are so cramped in here. They're building comb wherever they can. All right, so we're going to have to help them with that today. OK. 
Okay. Woo! Full frame of brood. Nice! That is beautiful. I love seeing that. Okay, a successful split all the way around. This one can go with Be Lively. So we're just going to put that back in. I'm not even going to take out the other frames because they're really packed in there. But what we will do is we'll go ahead and put on a nuke. Okay. So this box up here has one frame of drawn comb, old drawn comb, and four frames brand new. So that'll give them plenty of room to move up into, give them place to lay, um, lay down some resources. All right. All right. So now we're up here to the front row where the tiny Italians were moved to. I'm going to open up this nuke first. I doubt anything is really still in here. Well, we've got a few bees. I highly doubt we have any type of queen right situation. Not as heavy. Drone brood. Queen cups that never hatched. More drone brood. So we have a laying worker situation. That larvae in there is just bullet shaped cells, so that tells me that these are drones. Not surprised. My guess is that this queen left with a swarm and they never made a new queen. All right, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna take a resource frame out of here and just set it aside for them to rob out. And then we're going to move a frame of eggs from that hive into here without the queen, just some nurse bees and some eggs, uh, and we'll see if they make a queen. And we'll try to do a walk away split in this way is, instead. Okay, assuming this hive is doing what it's supposed to, we might be able to save the other one. Wow, they completely propolized the um, screen up here. Again, telling me they don't need that ventilation. If they do, they can open it up, I guess. We opened this up and we saw a queen up here. We found eggs brood larvae in the uh, middle super. And we shook all the bees down into the bottom box. Let that brood hatch out. Let's see how they're doing on human honey. <laughs> Full frame of honey. Look at that. Yeah. Full frame. Both sides. I love it. Cool. All right, so how many of the frames look like that? Cap, 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 cap. Wow, okay, so they need frames. I did not expect this today. This is fantastic. All right, we have an eight frame super full of honey, capped, ready for human consumption. I can't do anything about it right this minute. I need to bring frames out. Found it. <laughs> all right, so all these are now honey up here. And they have plenty of stores for their winter. My goodness. So I'm gonna close this box up. This box is gonna be heavy also. Woo, I can already tell. Yeah, we're looking for eggs, brood larva, or a queen down here. This is that queen I thought I saw up top. And brood. Good. Larvae. Yay, small larvae. Yay. All right, so we now have a laying queen in the right box in this colony. So now what I wanna do is I wanna find a frame of mostly eggs. I'm just gonna skip over these middle ones. Oh, queen cell. All right, I need to go back and try to find the queen then. We do have a peanut on this side. Now I'm concerned. I want to go back and find... Well, there's larvae. What about this one? Well, we got another supersedure cell on this one at the top. Mostly cat brood, though. I see a small hive beetle. Oh, there's some eggs. Okay. So we have a few eggs, some really young larvae in here. 
And a queen cell. Hmm. That one might be a decent one to move over if they've already made a queen cell in it. Another peanut in the middle. Hmm. I wonder if their queen went south. There's three super seeder cells. I have not seen a queen. But she's obviously been laying because we did find some eggs. We're finding some young larvae in the corners. All right, well, I'm going to leave this frame in here. And as far as moving, we're going to move one frame over. Yeah, we'll move this one frame over. Whether the queen's on it or not, it doesn't matter. Well, we'll move this one over to this box. Frame, the peanut frame in the middle. And we'll put an empty frame right next to that peanut. So they've got nurse bees that came with the frame, eggs, brood. Okay. Now we'll move the frame with the peanuts to the middle. Push these other frames in. Put this one next to the brood on that side. And that's going to encourage them to draw those two out to make room to lay brood. Brood minder back in place. Queen excluder to keep her down low. Full super of bee honey. Very full super of human honey. Inner cover with no upper entrance. Off lid. Awning. Strap to keep it tight. Okay. So our tiny Italian colony box is not queen right. They have eggs, brood larvae, but we didn't find the queen. And they've got two queen super seeder cells in here. This nuke box has one queen cell, a frame of brood, and a few eggs in there, and some nurse bees and the bees that were in there, plus another empty-ish frame for them to build out and lay eggs on. So hopefully this one in a couple of weeks will correct itself. Here's hoping. All right, I'm gonna go take a break. It is hot. I am sweating profusely. I sweated through my bee gloves. So I'm gonna go walk away, get some Gatorade. We'll come back in about 20 minutes or so. Let's get into the split that we did off of the Carniolans. I suspect this hive is doing just fine. There's a booming population in the front. We just wanna make sure they are still doing just fine. I am going to move this box today a little bit because I want to reposition the back row over to where it will finally be. Oh yeah, lots of brood on both sides already. Second frame in, just tons of brood. Lots of eggs on this frame. Lots and lots of eggs. Good. All right. Well, I'm happy with what I see so far. So I don't want to get into this one anymore. Um, they're going to be mad at me enough when I move them. So uh, put this back together and then I'm going to move them over next to the 10 frames uh, for the moment, just so that way we can uh, get them off of this piece of wood so we can move the wood to where it'll finally rest. All right, so here's what we did. I put five of the frames here in the nuke box and that's where the box originally was. And I moved the 10 frame box over here and it's got five frames in it, lid, and that's where they're going to sit for a little bit until I can move this out of the way. The box is here just so that way the foragers have pheromones to come back to and it's not so chaotic for the bees. Last box to inspect today. This is the Carniolans. It's not very many bees in the very top box. A few more bees in here. Capped honey. Yeah, these middle frames have capped honey, so they're okay on resources. Oh, here we go. There's some brood and lots of eggs. Very, very good. Oh, and our queen is up here on the top of the frame. Unmarked though, so we'll have to come back and mark her. All right, so now what we need to do is move this up to there. All right, that should be lightweight. Oh, brief respite in the shade. Whew. All right, so now that I moved the boxes out of the way, we're going to 
reposition the um, hive stand to the new location. Um, I had to move the hives because I'm using the equipment that the hives are currently on. So that's why we had to move the hives out of the way for a moment before we could put the bees on the new hive stand. A little bit more work, but a little cheaper in the long run. So that's why I'm doing it that way. It's hot today. All right, so we are done. What did we get done today? Well, we checked all the hives for queen right activity. Uh, the 10 frame and their split doing fine. The tiny Italian and their split not doing fine. We've got supersedure cells. So I moved a frame of eggs plus a su one supersedure cell to the nuke. And we'll see what happens with those two hives in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Carniolan and their split are doing just fine. And we got them moved to the new apiary spot you can see here. Uh, this will be a little bit more room for me to work behind the hives. Um, I don't like standing in front of a hive while working. So yeah, this would be a really good setup. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, the bees might be a little testy today because they can't find home super easy, but this is the only way I was able to do it in this time and just I needed to get it done. So today it got done. Also, uh, one of the things I did as I was going through the Carniolans, um, I noticed that their top super barely had anything in it. They barely had enough bees to even be up in there. So I moved the super from the Carniolans over to the tiny Italians and I took the super off of the tiny Italians and I'm going to have some honey. That's really awesome. I actually got to harvest some honey today. Really excited about that. We're going to get together probably with uh, Be Lively and do a little honey extraction. And uh, I'll bring you along for that little journey so I can do my first honey extraction. That should be really neat. Hey, thanks for joining us today. I hope you are staying cool, dry, and safe. All right. Catch you guys next time.